So here is my new setup. I have a power cord running from the battery. It's soldered up behind the camera. And I have a blue LED light. It looks something like yay. Um, so what I have is two magnets. Dink, dink. Stuck on there. And plug it in. Okay. And I also found out something else. <clears throat> when I turn this on, let's go to stopwatch. So when I turn it on, it takes quite a bit of time to boot up, hook up to GPS's, run or start the Wi-Fi and connect to the app and all this jazz. So we'll, well, I just want to record and see how long that takes to get fully functional. So I'll go in here, turn on my Wi-Fi. It's connected to the this. All right. Then to this. Okay. I am ready to fly. But usually I Turn that off, and I start a, re a repeater just so I can go a little bit, quite a bit further away. So I either have this one that I start up, and I either use the OTG cable and plug it into my phone, which powers it up, or a power bank. And that one will show up in there, or else I have a TP Link repeater that I soldered the top of a 9 volt battery on there and plug it in like that and give it the and you can see the lights are on so for these to show up it takes a little while so that one's the eye in the sky it connects automatically this one will take a while to show up on there this one is Eye in the sky too, because you can go over twice as the distance. All right, cancel. <clears throat> so it's connected to this one. So that takes about two and a half minutes ish. Okay. You run the battery, you fly it around, and the battery goes low, so you come back and fly. You have to turn it off and swap out to a different battery. And then you have to wait two and a half minutes to turn it back on. So I found another thing. This is a three cell, 1000 milliamp uh, LiPo. So if I unplug my light, like that, and I plug this in, the LiPo, it back feeds it, I can take my battery pack off, put a new battery on, unplug this LiPo, plug my thing back in, if you need to use a light, and you're good to go. So. Let's Kind of a cool thing. All right, here we go. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's connect a controller. Medcat CTLR. So.
and then you can you can go in here and adjust all the settings of how sensitive you want it. I like it sensitive. And that's how you fly a parrot bebop. <laughs> Two. All right. Oh yeah, did I tell you that these things are stuck on here by little magnets? So you can just take it off. If it does fall out, fall off, and it'll unplug and just fall down and not get totally tangled. But yeah, magnet, magnet. Dang it. Magnet. It's supposed to stick on there. It must have fallen off. So yeah, that's it. Bye.